Oh, God, y'all. I'm more confused now than I was <laughs> at T-Mobile and at Best Buy. Okay, so I, when I started having the storage problem, I increased my Google Cloud storage from five gigabytes. I was paying $1.99 a month, so I increased it to something terabytes, which is $9.99 a month. But then it didn't do any good. It still, you know, it just wouldn't store anything. So I asked him about this thing that my subscriber sent me the video about of deleting it from the device. And he said, oh, no, 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 no. Don't do that. Just uh, all you have to do is send it to trash and then it will be stored in your Google Cloud. I said, but I already deleted everything. I deleted all of Efe's pictures, all of her recital videos. I just deleted everything. And he said it should, all of that should, is still in the Google Cloud, but I don't know how to find it. It's just confusing. He said, no, you don't have to delete, delete it from the device. So I'm really confused. I'm going to another cell phone repair store. Okay, so I'm going to another one. The, these cell phone repair stores are fairly close together. That, that must be big, big business. Oh, goodness. A guy called while I was in there waiting, and uh, I heard him ask the repairman, can you fix the back camera on an iPhone? And he said, yeah, bring it in. And the guy goes, well, how long will it take? He said, about a half hour. I guess that's the new... Um, Whenever you take shop in school nowadays, instead of it being auto repair, it's probably electronics repair. The one thing that I regret not taking in school was home economics. And I was really a, a, a candidate who really needed it because Dort didn't teach me a darn thing about cooking or cleaning or ironing or anything to do with uh, being a homemaker. But it, it was difficult to fit into my schedule because I was in the band and usually the home ec and, and shop and all of those classes were the same time of the, the day that band practice was. But it, it was band and being a majorette that saved my life. I, I would have freaked out a long, long time ago because of all the, the stress and, and trauma and, and mistreatment of that home life that I have. Anyway, whenever you're going through difficult times in your life, I mean, this is not a major thing. This is very minor. It's not major like, um, you know, being sick and trying to get a diagnosis for a health problem. It's just a little bump in the road, but don't ever give up. Keep fighting. Just keep putting one foot in front of the other and get up every morning with a new attitude and a new determination to keep going and fighting and fight until you find a solution and and until you find a solution that you're happy with and satisfied with in your life sometimes your life just falls into a million little pieces it's like a, a broken glass with these little glass shards all over the floor you just pick them up one at a time evaluate them decide where you want to put them, kind of glue to use, which route to go, how much glue you're going to need and, need, and you just keep putting those little shards of glass back together, one shard at a time, until you get to the end and you're satisfied with the result. Don't ever, ever give up, no matter how difficult your life is, what the adversity is, what road it leads you down. There's always light at the end of the tunnel and always when one door closes another one opens and I have found in my life that door that opens is always better so I will be back and let y'all know how this next phone cell phone repair shop goes for me